Hi, I'm Hayley from Parallel Coaching and in this video I'm going to teach you three key points about frontal planes of movement and how you can remember them ready for your anatomy exam. If you hang around to the end there'll also be a special bonus feature for you as well. Key point number one. There are three different planes of motion of which frontal plane movements are just one of those. The other two are sagittal and transverse. So in order to understand what frontal plane movements are, there's a really easy way to identify it. So if you stand up nice and tall, arms down by your side, and just imagine that you have a plane of, pane of glass right in front of you, and also one behind you. Now if you try and move in that position, you're really limited as to the types of movements you can do. Now those movements are all frontal plane movements and they're happening between those two, sandwiched between those two panes of glass. Key point number two, you need to know the joint actions that are associated with frontal plane movements. So if you get back into that same position we're talking about, about squeezing between the two sandwiched panes of glass, then all I want you to do is try and move your arms and your legs you'll notice that you get something called adduction and abduction of the shoulder as well as of the hip and also lateral flexion and lateral extension of the spine itself. They're the only movements and joint actions that can occur within the frontal plane movement. Point number three. Now this is a memory hack to help you remember these frontal plane movements ready for exam day. All you need to do is think about it from that pane of glass that we we're talking about, that pane of glass in front and behind. And as those movements are happening out to the sides, if you're sandwiched between these panes of glass. Now, if you think about the movements that can happen here, then you see most of the joint movement happen if you're standing in front of that pane of glass looking at that movement. Now that's a really easy way of remembering that front equals frontal. So you, when you look at an action from the front and you see the most amount of movement, like on a shoulder press or a lat pull down, that's when you know that you are in frontal plane movements. Now you know all three key points about frontal plane movements, but do you know how to relate those to your exam questions? The best way to do this is to go through mock questions, and we have 101 downloadable mock questions for you. All you need to do is click the link that's in the description below. If you like this video, then make sure you hit the like button below, share with your friends, and be sure to subscribe. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you on the next video.